Let's just shuffle. Let's just shuffle. Skip. 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 That used to be me. <laughs> now, I'm on the mission to create the perfect shuffle, where every song in the library is less than 50% skippable. What's up? I'm Trent Windsor and we're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of clearing out the archives where I shuffle my music and whichever album comes up. That is the album I review song by song. This morning, I shuffled my music and the album that came up was Draw Down the Moon by Foxing. Foxing is one of those bands where I was looking over what the new music was this week and I thought that their name was interesting. I thought that the album cover was interesting, so I added it, and then I listened to the first song, I thought that was cool, and I was like, I'll listen to the rest of this later, and I never did. So this is my first time really fully properly listening to this album. They've got a lot of indie rock and electronic influences. I would say they lean more towards the rock side. They are very passionate and put a lot of emotion into their songs. It definitely appeals to kind of the 2010s indie kid that I was back in high school. You know, I'm a fan of people like The Killers and the old Arctic Monkeys and people who like Arcade Fire. I feel like if you like that stuff back in the day, you'll like Foxing because they have a lot of the same vibes, but I think they kind of turned the volume up to 11 comparatively. I really enjoyed the title track, Draw Down the Moon, which I believe I'm playing in the background right now. It's got this line to start out the song, I'm never gonna stop loving you, and uh, they really carry that emotion throughout the song. But it's nuanced, you know, it's not just all good or all bad. You can feel that there's some tension, some pull. I really liked in the opener, 737, the singer really goes off. He sings about, I can't do this alone. And by the end, he is just screaming these vocals, which is really, really cool to hear in a song that's not necessarily metal or hard rock. And I wish I could hear a little bit more of that because the emotion was really electric. But they find other ways to sneak the emotion in there, I will say. I think at its worst, this album can be just a little bit sickly sweet, like um, like if you know that song by the American authors, like, this is gonna be the best day of my life. Sometimes it starts to get into that territory, never, never that far, mind you. It's never that, um, that corny. But it can get kind of close, and that's why some of these songs are like 40% skippable. There's one ballad on here, which I'm pretty harsh on ballads, so that one I would say has to go for me. But everything else is really good. I also really loved the closer, which features Y. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember that I reviewed Y's album A OK Ohio, and I really liked the sounds that were in that album, so. If you like any of the stuff that I've been saying, I think you should give this album a listen. I think it is worth your time. I think it's an album that's going to grow on me as I listen to it more and more. So this is how the songs stack up. So mathematically speaking, adding everything up, this album as a whole is 37% uh, skippable. I think it's a pretty solid number. And uh, like I said, I would suggest you give it a listen. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will be leaving links in the description below for music videos for this album, which includes a live concert video, which is pretty cool. I will also leave links for other projects that I'm doing and a link to the playlist for music that I've been enjoying this year. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle.